Official prediction, Adesanya versus Piera 4. Can I call it 4? We should probably call it 2, right, since it's under MMA rules. But you guys get it, man. We've been here and done that. Like, like at some point, do you need to say who you think's going to win? I mean, right, like, at some point, if we're not going to show an honor and a respect moving forward to the winner of a contest, why are we having the contest? It seems as though you have a dispute, but then you have dispute resolution. And the members of the society must follow that very basic etiquette. Otherwise, what is it for? What am I going to go out there after training? What am I going to go out there and sacrifice all this for if when it's done, people are going to tell me they don't think that I can do something that I just did? I mean, see where it gets a little bit tough? And with that said, I'm going to do the very thing. Adesanya. That's who I think. But I can't give you, it is not possible for me to give you a prediction without giving you a profession and professing to you from inside how I feel eternally. I'm just putting myself in his shoes. I just saw them fight, right? It wasn't that long ago. It wasn't that long ago at all. Nobody has had time to get better. Not to mention nobody has changed camps. Nobody, we, we don't have any switches like this at all. Izzy wasn't looking in any other directions. There was a brief period of time where Piera was kind of talking about some other guys. But for the most part, they, here we are. Go back, get in shape, get that weight back off. We're going to put you right back in there. Okay, but all I'm sharing for you is there's not new tools now, at least not in theory. And if you wanted to look at who had the better tools, who had more tools, and who was sharper with their tools, it was Izzy, for sure. You just also then have to, and I don't think there's room, I don't think there's time for those guys to get any better. I really don't. Fighters, well, they'll always be working on new things. The tr what you're going to use on Saturday night when the house is on fire is something you learned 10 years ago. There's not a fighter out there that uses something in a world championship match that they didn't know by the time they were 15. That That is a slight exaggeration, but but no. Not much. I really, these physically, these are going to be the same guys. For sure. But we know how important the mental approach is. And so I'm just looking at Izzy's mental approach. And I have to guess, because I've never been in this spot. I know how hungry he was last time. Izzy was flat mad. He was flat mad. He didn't deny that he had the run-in with Piera. He didn't deny that he had the second run-in with Piera. But he left. He came over here. He made a name. He made money. He went and got his championship. Guy came and followed him here, said, I'm going to come take that from you, too. And Izzy knew it, and he felt it, and he was mad. And he wanted to get those back. And you thought he could do it. You guys sent him into that ring at Madison Square Garden, opposite a guy he'd lost to twice, one of them by knockout, as a two-and-a-half-to-one favorite on DraftKings. Now that it's 3-0, two finishes, favoring Piera, you guys are rolling with Izzy again, and so am I. But why are we doing that? Izzy right now is the favorite. Do you guys understand that on DraftKings? Those two are separated by a, a plus 160 and minus 140. That is as close to even money as you can get, but if you, if you have to tip it, Izzy is the favorite. Izzy even spoke about this. He saw the DraftKings line, and he said, I'm a little surprised. He did. He was real candid about it. He said, I'm a little surprised. that I could lose to this guy, lose and lose again. And still have people that are partying with their money thinking, I'm going to beat him. And I do have to wonder where Izzy's at mentally. And I can't fully see it, right? I did not like, openly, I did not like where Kamara Usman was going into his last match with Leon. Kamara changed. He changed his approach. I didn't love that. But I'm also seeing Izzy changing his approach. There's reasons he'd do that. There's a respect. A guy came and took what you have, but now he's going to give you an immediate opportunity. There's an appreciation. There's reasons why Izzy would approach this differently, but I will just share with you, he is a lot calmer. He is a lot nicer. He has made jokes, and some of them are self deprecating That's not what he's ever done before. I was very concerned for Sean Strickland when he went into his last match with Jared Cannonier because for the first time ever, Sean Strickland started making jokes about Sean Strickland. 
I think it was the schmo went and asked him, what is your plan for Jared Cannonier? And Strickland being funny, and he laughed, but he said, plan for this guy. God, I'd like, do, do you have a plan? Tell me what it is. This guy's tough as hell. I'm just sharing for you. Those were things we'd never seen from Sean before. And it was alarming to me. And I'm now watching Izzy be nice. He's being polite. He's being reserved. I think he does have a respect. I think he does have a pr uh, appreciation. What I need to know that he has in front of everything is an urgency. D d does he have an urgency? Does he realize I can never take my eye off the ball? The more points I score on this guy, he's one of those kinds of guys that that makes him come harder later. I would definitely think that he understands these things. I would definitely think that he sees these things. But from a physicality standpoint, I stand with you guys. I have Izzy as the favorite. I think Izzy's a better fighter. I don't think very many of you watched the kickboxing matches. I know you love to go in my comment section and say that you did. I don't think you did. I think you're lying. I did watch them. I watched both of them. I watched their last fight, and I watched it again, and I watched it again. I have the same conclusion. The better fighter is Adesanya. But you have competitor issues with Piera. You have somebody that will not quit. You have somebody that believes in himself. And when I talk about there's not a lot of room to get better, that's true. There just wasn't a lot of time. There was some wrestling offense by Piera, though. That if he would just switch a couple of things, if he would just change the way that his foot's driving, he would just change his hand position down three inches. If he would just look up and drive across with his shoulder as opposed to looking down at the canvas. There was wrestling takedowns where he could get on top. Absolutely. He was very close last time. And I only say that because that was Piera's great way of winning. Izzy was out striking him. Piera had the wrestling. He couldn't keep him there. If he got him there and kept him there, if he could find a wrist, float the hips, just the things that you could work on and you could learn in the last four months, if that's what you really were dedicated to doing. There is ways where Piera can start to grab some minutes. Where Piera doesn't stack the deck up against himself. What we don't know as an audience is how will he perform in the fifth round if the deck is not stacked? How will Piera perform if they're tied up two to two? Does two to two put him in the same position of urgency? What if he's ahead three to one? I mean, I'm just suggesting for you. There's a lot of things that we think we understand and we know about these guys. I'm reminding you, yeah, we really don't. We really don't. My official prediction, I'm taking out Asanya. Something that would make me more bullish on that is if I understood where Adesanya is headed at. Is he angry? Is he just appreciative? Does he just want this behind him? Does he throw this over some period of time? At some point, you got to just bow to the other guy and tell him, good job, you got me. But are we there yet? Are we there yet? Because Kamara was there. He was ready to show respect to Leon and his countrymen. Does Izzy still have the eye of the tiger? Because in this sport, you got to be selfish. Coaches have to be selfless. They're giving up their time. The athletes got to be selfish. You want it all. You got a black heart. I'm going to walk in here. I'm going to take everything you want, everything you've ever worked for. I'm going to take it all. And I'm going to be happy about it. I'm never going to think about you. You got to have a black heart. All things are equal. Take those last five rounds we saw. We're going to add five more to it. You're safe to bet on Adesanya.